Hey guys, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I gotta be sort of quiet today because I'm at the Michelle Obama Library chilling on their couches today. And when we come back, we're gonna get this show started. Okay? I'm back. I'm still on my memory lane kick. I saw some photos and videos that really brought me back in time. On that note, let's take a look down memory lane. Who could ever forget Jiffy Pop popcorn from the past? She used to put that little pan on the stove and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And that uh, silver would rise up. And then when it was all done, you would break the silver foil on it and you could have your Jiffy Pop. The popcorn makers have come a long way from back in the day, but remember these popcorns, that orange lid? You used to flip it over once the popcorn was popped and you used that as a bowl. The only time you can find one of these nowadays is probably at a Goodwill. Remember the Pet Rock? It's been called one of the greatest marketing achievements of the century and also the best psychological hustle ever. Those holes in the box were a nice touch. You wouldn't want your rock to suffocate now, would you? When parents thought it was perfectly safe to let their kids make their own artsy crafts by putting plastic in the oven, yes, that actually happened. Remember Shrinky Dinks? Who could ever forget this freckle-faced gingerhead girl from all the books and the movies that we used to watch back in the day? Pippi Longstocking. You know what? She always scared me a little bit. What about you? Remember when you needed two keys for one car? <laughs> I remember you had to have one key for the door, which is probably that round one, and the square key would be for your ignition. Remember trying to solve these bottle cap riddles when you were a kid? Do you think you can solve this one? A hint, if that first one is the sun, but the sun is not the name of the first word. See if you can guess it and put it down in the comments. And also between the T and the one is a haystack. Remember when you had to go to the record store to buy music? What was the first album you ever bought? Do you remember this? Who does not remember the record changer? You would put your records up here and you would pull that over, that little arm piece over there. And whenever this right here with the needle on it went to the end over there then the next record would drop down shout out to everyone whose music collection used to look like this i see anita baker in there tlc some mariah carey sheena easton climax heavy d and the boys tony braxton this person had some awesome music Ooh, and i even see the jets in there Remember when we did this? We couldn't walk around with our shoes looking all scuffed. We had to have our white shoe polish on hand, and we did it the night before to make sure that our Nikes, our Keds, our Shell Top Adidas, and even our ponies were looking white, bright, and pristine. Remember playing cops and robbers or cowboys and Indians with this cap pistol? You also had the roller caps, and if you didn't have the pistol, you would use a rock or a brick or a hammer to make that snappy noise and how the smoke used to rise and that smell from the cap rolls. Don't get this twisted. It wasn't just a game for the boys. The girls also like to get in on the action. Yes, boys and girls, it is the hippity horse. You and your siblings or your friends can have hours and hours of fun bouncing up and down on these rubber ball horses and they even make them for grown-ups. Whoa, easy there, Grandpa. <laughs> Ooh, maybe sometimes it's not best to keep reliving your childhood. But anyway, hippity horse, get into it. With the big DLT, they found a way to make the hot side hot and the cold side cold. Who remembers seeing pizza like this in the school cafeteria? Remember Fridays were pizza day? Looking at this, I can smell the peanut butter and jelly and the chicken noodle soup. How many of you remember the Hostess Snowball? 
marshmallowy, coconutty, cakey goodness. I wonder do they still make these? Let me know down in the comments. Remember the Scoopy ice cream cone cups with that little scary clown on them? I remember having the Neapolitan ice cream with the chocolate, the strawberry, and vanilla in these cones. Remember when we used to get yelled at from messing with the dials on the radio or fiddling with the sliding buttons on the air condition and the heat? This was before the days that cars had high-tech features. Remember the ballerina music jewelry box? No little girl's room was complete without one. Remember these Samsonite luggage with the lock and key? We had this same set in color when I was a kid growing up. Remember the Dunkin' yo-yos? If it isn't a Dunkin', it isn't a yo-yo. Remember the coin holder? You used to squeeze it and it would pop open and you would put all your coins in there. I wonder if they still make these things, but they claim you never lose a coin and it's also a heavy duty keychain. Remember Woods of the Hour? Give a hoot, don't collude. And I know I'll be a law someday and I hope and pray that I will. But today I am still just a bill. Saturday mornings would not be complete without Schoolhouse Rock. Remember these clear push button phones with the rage back in the days? These waterfall toys used to be my favorite. You used to take that little tab up there, fill it up with water, and it would cause these rings right here to float, and you would press that white button right there, and it would expel the water up from the bottom, and you would try to get those rings stacked up on those pegs right there. This right here was the toy back in the day. This was the toy to have back in the days. They used to play row, row, row your boat. Remember moving the dials to make the picture go by faster? We had such fun with this toy. Does anybody else remember this toy? Who remembers when we used to play Chinese jump rope? Jump in, jump out, jump side to side, jump in, jump out, jump on. Or we used to say in, out, side to side, on, in, out. Remember going trick-or-treating in these masks? I remember sticking my tongue through the mouthpiece and how the elastic used to break on the back of them so easily and they used to also make you sweat. Which one of these masks do you remember having? <laughs> hey guys, I had to stop it right there. I hope you had as much fun as I did watching all the toys, gadgets, and foods that we enjoyed when we were younger and I younger days. Please remember that Sunday Brunch isn't just for Sunday. You can also watch it Monday through Friday or anytime you want to see a great video. As always, Black Storm is coming at you with love, peace, and soul. I am back, guys. It's a lovely day. Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day on this lovely day.